Well, folks, stainless steel would be the way to go if you're going to grind biochar consistently. Well, I've got the stove loaded up almost. I maybe fit a couple more pieces of firewood in there. Run a fire. I got it tucked all the way up in there, all around the barrels. Got a couple barrels of random, not so much chips, but like small chunks of firewood pieces for my initial run. And we'll uh, we'll see how she cooks up here. Game of trees, we're having fun. Well, I suppose I could light it with a match, but you know. I don't have it on high pressure. Somebody must have left this open. I'm about out of fuel. It's about 15, 20 minutes. We're going up. I don't have a strong draft because I kind of blocked my draft over here. Like there's a, a piece of wood that's kind of blocking my, my draft. But it's going to burn. We got the temperature rise in here. All right, 300 degrees. I put wood in front of my draft. They need that draft farther up. A little design flaw. So I came back last night and I shut this down and you know, so I've got some ch charcoal in here for the next fire. Uh, but these had stopped off gassing, you know, they'll gas out here and, and that gas will burn and they were, they were dead. So I've got pretty good charcoal in there. I got a little bit of ash on the top there where, you know, some residual oxygen can slip in here while they're still warm. Yeah, you gotta be careful not to open up a biochar container while it's warm. Um, but there will be some pure black ones in here too. We got just a little bit of, of ash and that's where, you know, oxygen got in. So as I build my larger retorts, I'm gonna have the the exit holes like this, you know, these are on all four sides and there's no way to like shut them. So you want to be able to, to take, take it out of the kiln and set it in sand or something where it's totally sealed. So there's no oxygen inside that as it cools. And then you won't get that residual ash in there, but it's a pretty small amount. Uh, so, get one of these pieces out of here. So this is exactly how it went in. And it's just pure carbon. You know, it's cooked all the way through. So you can see it's black all the way through. And it's, you know, it's brittle like glass. And so we're gonna grind some of this up into powder. Our first product is going to be soap, if you can believe it. <laughs> Charcoal soap for arborists, the biochar bar. Um, biochar body bar and shampoo for arborists. So if you get a bunch of impurities on you, <laughs> out doing plant health care or something, you can uh, purify your skin with the Game of Trees biochar bar. Good little Father's Day thing we'll have going on. Game of Trees, we're having fun. Kind of like 
grinding my ghost pepper, you gotta do it outside. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty messy. <laughs> Gonna be soap, folks. Game of trees. We are having fun. Folks, stainless steel would be the way to go if you're going to grind biochar consistently. Yeah, I got in trouble for that. Mm -hmm.